In this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw the walls for the guest cottage. So I've already done my drawing setup. I've created all the layers that I need. The first thing I need to do is set my walls layer current. So I've made all of these layers. I'm going to set my wall layer current by clicking on where I see uh, layer zero or whatever this layer is that you might have set current right now. And I'll pull this list down and I'll click on the word walls. So we make sure that our walls layer is set current. Now the first thing that I want to do once I've got my walls uh, set current is we'll draw a rectangle. So I'm going to come over here. I'm on the home ribbon, the draw panel, and I will click on the rectangle command. It wants to know where I want to start that rectangle, and the book tells me that it should start at the absolute coordinate 10 feet, 12 feet. Now the key to remember when you're doing architectural projects and we've set the units to architecture is that AutoCAD assumes anything that you type in is going to be in inches. So we have to remember to put in that foot symbol, which is the apostrophe, and um, that is what's going to tell AutoCAD that we're definitely uh, talking feet and not inches. So we're going to type in 10 feet, comma, 12 feet, enter. And that started it right here. If yours did not start there, if yours started below the magenta rectangle, you probably forgot to type in the uh, foot symbol. So it probably started it at zero, or, uh, from zero comma zero, from my origin, it probably started it at 10 inches by 12 inches. All right, now that we've got our start point, it's kind of locked into that point. It doesn't know how big we want to make this rectangle. So now we know that the rectangle, the book tells us that it's 18 feet by 15 feet. So I'll type in 18, again, don't forget the foot symbol, comma, 15 feet, enter. So I've just drawn an 18 by 15 foot rectangle starting at 10 feet, 12 feet. Now we need to use the offset command. We're going to take this rectangle and we're going to offset it in to get our wall thickness. So we're going to start the wall, the offset command, and we're going to make those walls four inches thick. So I'm still on the home ribbon under the modify panel. I'm going to click on the offset command. You can also type O, enter, if you prefer typing. Click on the offset command. Don't click just yet. Let's walk through this. It's easy to kind of jump ahead, especially when you're first starting in AutoCAD. It's easy to jump ahead and try to guess what it's asking you for and start clicking. Do not click. The first thing it wants from us is the offset distance. This is where I'm going to stop and I'll type in four for four inches. You can put the inch symbol if you want to, but like I said, AutoCAD assumes inches, so it saves you a, an extra little step not to put the inch symbol in there. It's up to you. So I'm going to type in four, press enter. Now I'm able to offset. So now I can click on the rectangle and notice if I move my mouse out or if I move it in, it's trying to guess which way I want to offset. I want to make sure that I offset it inside. So I move my mouse to the inside of that rectangle. And when I click, I'm left mouse clicking. There we go. So I just took my walls, offset it a distance of four inside so that it is uh, four inches thick. I'm going to press enter to end that command. One thing that I would recommend, recommend that you do, I'm kind of zooming in so I can see it better. I would recommend click on that, that outer rectangle before you get too far. Hover next to that little grip. I'm not actually clicking on the grip. I'm just hovering next to it. And let's make sure that it says that it's 18 feet by 15 feet. If it does not say that, it's possible that you actually accidentally offset your walls out instead of in, uh, which is going to really mess things up. It's going to make it harder for you to come back in and try to correct all of that when um, we get ready to dimension this in chapter six. So I'll press escape. And escape just deselects. I pressed it a couple of times. It just deselects uh, whatever objects I have selected. All right, the next step, now that we've got our exterior walls drawn, it says to explode those rectangles. Because you notice when I did my offset command, the whole entire rectangle came inside. So we're going to explode those rectangles. Um, and so the explode command is up here right below erase, explode, and then you can select objects. 
press enter. X enter will also be uh, the, the hotkey for um, the explode command. But let's double check and make sure. See, when I explode it, now I have individual lines. Each one of those rectangles broke into four individual lines instead of being one big piece. All right, so we're going to continue with this offset command. By the end of this, you're going to be a pro at the offset command. So uh, in looking at the book, um, it tells us what the offset distances need to be. It's really important when you're looking at this, pay attention to which side, which wall is being offset and which side um, you need to offset to. So I'm going to start with the vertical offsets. And so I will do my offset command. And I want to take this outer vertical line and I'm going to offset it to the left. And it says it's a distance of 7 foot 4. So I'll type in 7 foot 4. You can put the inch symbol if you want, but you don't have to. Just as long as you've got the 7 foot and 4, I'll press Enter. Click on this outer line and then click to the left. And it gave me a distance of 7 foot 4. I'm going to press enter here to end that command. I'll start the command again. Again, you can click on the icon. You can type O, enter. Or now that offset is the last thing that I did, you can press the enter key on your keyboard, and it just repeats the last command. Now it's telling me that wall is 4 inches thick, so type in 4, press enter. Click on this vertical line, and I'm going to offset it that four inches goes into the closet area. So I'm gonna offset it to the right. Click here, press enter to end the command. Press enter to start the command again. Now we're gonna do uh, that top line, we're gonna bring it down. So we're doing our horizontal offsets. Um, it says five, four. So we'll, again, right when you start that command, you're not clicking on anything, you just wait for it to prompt you. Don't type or click anything until it asks for a distance. Then we'll type in five foot four, press enter. Select that top line and just click anywhere down. And it's gonna basically just copy that top line down at a preset distance of five foot four. Press enter. Press enter again to repeat that command. We got lots of offsets going on here. This is gonna be a four inch offset. So type four, enter. Click on this line and notice in the book that four inches goes out of the closet this time. So we're going to offset that down. So we'll just pull our mouse down and click anywhere below that offset line and press enter to end that command. So this looks good. We've got our walls here. Now what we need to do next is clean up these walls. So we need to come in here and use the trim command to clean up those walls. So uh, the trim command did change in AutoCAD release 2021. So depending on which release you're using, if you're using 2021, uh, the trim command automatically uh, uh, assumes everything is a cutting plane. And by that, I mean when I start the trim command, uh, it's this guy right up here with the scissors. So start the trim command. You can also type TR, enter. I'm going to zoom in here and I can just get started trimming and I'm going to hollow out these walls that way. Um, if you are using AutoCAD 2020 or an older release, you have to press enter right when you start the trim command to get to this uh, little option here. So if you're in 2020, start trim, press enter, and then you can start doing this. And I am actually going to show you a little trick here. I'm going to hollow out those walls. I'm going to press enter here. And these lines down here, I don't need. We actually don't need those lines. So make sure that you only trim this kind of, this T intersection here. Pretty much all the T intersections are going to be trimmed out. So zoom in. Make sure that your walls are perfectly trimmed. And this looks great. So let's uh, move on. In the next video, I'll show you how we can find our door and window openings uh, using, again, the offset command.